Hey guys, Paul here, and this is another video update for Boy Destroyer 2. So as you can see, I have a little new arrival here. Um, these past few weeks have been, a couple of weeks have been pretty crazy. Um, lack of sleep, figuring out how a baby works, what this little guy needs, how we can survive while um, taking care of him, how we can take care of ourselves while, while we take care of him. Um, so he was a little bit of an unexpected... Um, early arrival but everything's fine both him and uh, mom my wife you know are doing really great we're learning how to take care of him and how to take care of ourselves at the same time um, everything's going pretty well so if you noticed uh, there's been a little bit of a dip in my productivity lately um, first off there's a few reasons for this one of them is that I've been working on several things at once early story elements, the new skybox stuff. Uh, whenever I work on things, multiple things at once, uh, I tend to jump from one to the next. And uh, there's not as many patches because something is not quite ready um, because I might have went on to the other thing to work on it. But um, so that's one reason. The other reason is we've been in just heavy preparation mode and anticipation of this little guy. And again, he showed up, decided to show up early which is probably a very rare thing for something that I that I'm involved in, you know. It's not usually early for stuff related to me, but but here he is. Um so we've been, you know, I'm starting to kind of get back in the swing of things, starting to get back to working on on Boy Destroyer 2, which of course is my main job, you know, this is my this is my uh my own company. I work from home, which is great because now I can take care of a little guy and uh obviously uh be you know 100 here for us for my wife for this little guy for myself uh, present uh so this was actually a big part of the dream um having my own company working from home is that you know when when one day we have a baby that i can be here um that i can be present for my son instead of like working till five coming home uh, spending a few hours with a baby and going to sleep and then repeat, rinse and repeating. So this has been like a pretty big part of this dream, this indie game dev dream. Um, doing this sort of this cool lifestyle and so far so good. Um, but it's also a really big part um, of it that the game continues to do well. So of course, you know, I have to um, keep working on it, keep working on the game, keep keep uh doing my best keep um keep all these all these updates flowing you know it's very important for my future for his future that the game is a success you know so um it's it's a very high on my priority list void shirt 2 is very high on my priority list you know for my son for my wife for my family for myself so i can keep working from home um keep being here for this little guy versus going out and finding a, a real job as i call it you know so far so good but uh the indie market is so changing so rapidly that you just don't know um so again um thank you for all the kind wishes you know i kind of hinted at the boy uh showing up in one of the updates there um and you guys expressed excitement and uh and joy and uh, well wishes so thank you thank you very much for that Thank you for supporting the project. Uh, you guys are now feeding another uh, mouth, not just my big mouth, but this little guy too. You guys are you guys are supporting another person now. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, next up is the actual update. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. So on the last update, I talked about uh, the new skyboxes. And I showed some clouds and points, noise, things like that. Uh, I kept working on that. I got some help from a contractor that I was waiting on. Uh, so it actually kind of was okay that, you know, all the baby stuff was at its sort of peak, you know, uh, because I was waiting for certain elements anyway. And sometimes it's actually good if I don't get something right away because if I have a long stretch of time just thinking about something, even sometimes dreaming about something, um, I get I get kind of interesting ideas. Uh, uh, sort of long experimentation process that happens some some portion of it in my brain. So let's take a look at what we have. I'm gonna undock. So we are in military space. So this is gonna be 
what the default or this is what the current default background looks like um so it is green i should make sure all the options are turned on clouds weren't turned on there we go now they're turned on so it's green because this is the military faction their colors are green so it's actually procedurally generated uh, clouds and background uh, procedures generally means it's, it's generated by the computer it's not a file on the hard drive um, so it's just a fancy way of saying it's it's math so as so you can see we have the same points, uh, as before if you kind of notice me just kind of flying through them uh, we also have the clouds they're now green to match the background they just sort of look better they fit they fit better uh, and the big thing is in that where the sun is there's this flare but it's also kind of hard to see me. but there's another element um, another element that I want to highlight so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn off some of these effects so we can more clearly see what's going on sort of layer by layer alrighty so I turned off a bunch of the effects in the code so we should get a little bit of a clear view of what's actually going on or actually one of the layers, one of the new layers uh, in this update. Here we go, we're leaving the base. If you notice, the background is not there anymore. That That's one layer. So if I just kind of turn around, space is just kind of pretty dark behind there. Now when we're facing the sun gate, we see this gradient. This was what I was waiting on from the, from the contractor. Um, we see the gradient in the back. It's actually pulsing, if you notice. If we just stand still, you can see it pulse, it kind of grow bigger uh, and brighter, sort of. Now that pulse, I might enhance, I might make it better, I might make it brighter. It's uh, it's one of those things that is sort of artistic, in a sense, where it's, it's sort of like a preference. It might sometimes be too bright, it might sometimes be too dark, so it's something still I want to tweak. But let's load up a different save in a different part of the game world. Now we're in a civilian base and if you notice, first of all, the, the, the sort of gradient is blue because that's the faction color for the civilians, civilian base. And if you notice, this gradient is much smaller than before. And this is to reflect that the sun gate is further away and therefore also smaller. So to kind of to back up in case in case you're new to Void Destroyer, uh, the game world has a big giant gate in the middle of this area of space. And this big giant gate actually has a sun, artificial sun into it. And that's what you're always sort of facing. Every base is facing it. We're back to the big giant sort of one. So we're much closer to the sun from this base, so we see this much more clearly. Uh, so there's this layer, there's a background layer, there's the points, and there's the noise layer. Let's go ahead, let's turn those back on, and let's um, let's take a look at the sort of totality. Okay, so those effects are turned on again. Let me just make sure. Yep. And let's undock. We're at the back at the civilian base. And because this is further away from the sun gate, things are kind of more toned down again. So we can kind of appreciate certain elements a little bit more. Uh, so I really like this uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, I think the main reason is, is that it highlights the sun gate, you know. Um, and of course, it might need some more tweaks, some more changes, things like that. But it's sort of this in a sense a horizon for the game um, you know in space there is no up and down but this element this sort of central element in the map it's it's like really referenced here um, I think much better than before before it was just the model of the gate and now you have the model you have the gradient you have this sort of inner gradient uh, and again some of this might be tweaked again and then of course facing away from it you know space is much darker and we have these clouds to fly through. Uh, they're pretty subtle. We have these points that we just sort of fly by to give us the, the sense of motion. Um, 
And again, some of this is, might be tweaked more and less as we go. Uh, some new technology might be might be put into place. Um, but I think it's I think it's really cool. I think it's a really cool start. So let's go ahead. Let's fly somewhere else. So let's visit a pirate asteroid field if we can find one. Here's one. Of course, the pirates are not happy to see me. So, because this field is controlled by pirates, it is colored red. Of course, all these guys want to destroy me. I'm in a little tiny um, hornet. So, I'm pretty much guaranteed to die really fast. Um, so, let's just enjoy it for a moment. There's a sun again, as you can see, it's, it's always there, red gradient, we're getting hit, we're going to die uh, very soon. So, uh, like I said, it, the, the background is going to change based on the faction. This pirate faction owns this field, so uh, it's colored red to reflect that. Let's just get killed a little faster. Since it looks like my Hornet was actually able to evade some of the fire. Here we go. Let's go ahead and travel some more through empty space. Let's visit a uh, bounty hunter base. Their color is sort of this light blue, almost sort of faded. So I think it's kind of cool where different factions have their own colors. Uh, it sort of strengthens this sort of artificial idea that you're an artificial being, that you're seeing the game, the world, in a different way than uh, a normal human would, you know? Because we have this art style, this sort of unique art style, and then the way that the the person sees the game world is also unique. I think it just kind of strengthens the whole idea. Uh, and making it procedural where there's different faction colors, the clouds, the points, and the difference in the gradients, uh, and sort of seeing, you know, it's sort of darker this way where there is no that artificial sun, I think makes it a lot more interesting. So before I head out into empty space, let me go ahead and look dock shark. I just want to I want to say of course that uh, you do have the choices of the other background. So now that default background that was in there for about a month or something is now called Pretty Space. It's one of the first ones. Dark Space. space. Of course the stub one. So let's choose um, Dark Space. just to sort of see the difference here there's dark space so if you prefer this you know you're welcome to it uh it's much less artificial i think this is kind of how a human being would see things uh and it's reflected in sort of the game game lore uh, so it's still around there's still clouds and points um if you enjoy this this better you know that's up to you um i'd like to give players choices and things like that Okay, so what happens if you're in empty space? Well, um, had this little bit of an idea of blending colors together. So, for example, if we go to, let's find some colors here. All right, so here we have civilians and the military. Civilians are blue, military is green. So this is going to be a mixture of green and blue and possibly a third color somewhere else but let's just take a look there we go so here we have this green and blue so it's a little bit more interesting now than the standard blue uh, when you're in empty space a little bit more interesting a little more variety uh, and it kind of reflects the area of space you're in if you're in more civilian space you'll see this if you're in more military space you'll see greener uh if you're more in pirate space you'll see uh, a redder color. So I think that's kind of cool. I think it's sort of like this almost situational awareness uh, for the player. It's 
find some red. Alrighty, so we saw what happens when we're in space, own space, of a base. But what happens when we're in empty space? Well, I had an idea about that. And the idea is to blend the colors of the surrounding objects. So here we have blue and green. The military is green, the civilians are blue. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So here we have this sort of light, greenish, bluish blend uh, in empty space. So uh, I think that's a really cool touch. It gives a bunch of variety. Uh, you know, the player might be flying around. They might enter a particular area of space with certain objects and might be kind of a little surprised at the different unique view. Again, it sort of kind of pushes the artificial aspect. You know, this is not what real space looks like, but this is what the person uh, in the ship sees. Let's take a look what else we can find. Let's get some pirates, some pirate space. There's an asteroid field. Let's go over here. There we go. It's sort of a greenish, sort of a yellow, greenish mixed with blue. There's the gradient. Uh, so I think that's a really nice little touch, a little bit of situational awareness. Let's go back to a nice field where we can just sort of wrap up the update. Here we go. All right, so um, overall, I'm really happy with this update. I like where the game is going in terms of its visual look. Um, a lot of people, I don't know, maybe a lot is exaggerating, but uh, a good amount of feedback I received is people not liking the backgrounds, not liking the choices, things like that. Um, of course, there's people that uh, do like the backgrounds that existed before, uh, that were okay with that, that sort of understood the vision. Uh, but of course, you know, I, I want to grab everybody. Um, you know, I don't want to sell the game just to uh, a limited number of people. I want to sell the game to as many people as I can so that you know, I can keep working on it, keep improving it, working on part three and on and on and on, and that more and more people get to enjoy it. You know, if there's a reason somebody's not enjoying it uh, and I can do something about it, you know, I'd really love to, to get a chance to do that. And I hope this update um, accomplishes that. So um, I'm probably going to tweak this a bunch. Hopefully I'm going to add more technology to this. Of course, I'm open to your feedback. Um, I might make this more dramatic. Uh, one of the test videos I showed, I made this effect a little bit more dramatic. So I might, I might do that again. Um, oh, this guy is going after me. So I guess we sort of have a limit how much we can talk here. Um, all right, guys. So once again, uh, thank you very much for your support. Um, hope you enjoyed this update. If you have feedback, questions, comments, be sure to let me know. I'm really eager what you guys think about this new system. Um, you know, play it in game, give it a shot, and then let me know because it's going to look a little different in game. Is it too dark? Is it too bright? Is it too this? Is it too subtle? You know, did you just go to the pretty skyboxes, quote unquote, uh, just ignore this? Let me know uh, and we'll go from there. Um, I can't always respond to feedback, but I, I'll certainly listen and take it into consideration. Um, yeah, so once again, appreciate you guys very much. Uh, I hope that my ability to work uh, increases um, along with my uh, parenting skills, uh, my ability to uh, get more rest while, of course, taking care of my new... Uh, newborn son um, so thank you very much guys thank you for your support I appreciate it um, greatly and I'll talk to you later <laughs>